Good morning. Our topic for today is about anatomy of fish, external and internal parts of the fish. So this is the performance task of this topic. So your task is to demonstrate how to dissect fish properly and identify the different internal and external parts of the fish. Create a two to three minute video. Our materials, fresh fish sample, preferably tilapia, dissecting set, surgical gloves, surgical tray, camera for recording of the video. For the procedure, using the scissors, lay down the fish samples, then cut its operculum to expose the gills of the fish. Describe the location and the natural color of the gills. Expose the internal organs of the fish. Locate and describe color, shape, and texture, the different internal organs of the fish listed below. We have the large and small intestines, swim bladder, heart, stomach, gall bladder, liver, kidney, spinal column or cord, and of course, the brain. So I have here example of a video made by Maya Juliana de Lizada by grade eight temperance. Good day, everyone. I am Maya Juliana de Lizada from grade eight temperance. Today, we will be dissecting and exploring the organs of the fish. But first, let me show you the external organs of the fish. This is an illustration of the external anatomy of a fish. The eyes, they can detect colors. The fish eyes are more round than mammals because of the refractive index of water, and focus is achieved by moving lens in and out. The nares or nostrils, they are used by the fish to detect odors in water. The vent, which is the external opening to the digestive, urinary, and reproductive tracts. The operculum, this is the bony plate that covers the fish's gills. It serves as a facial support, and it is also used for respiration and feeding. The scales. This serves as protection to aquadynamics. However, not all fish have scales. And the fins, which are used by the fish to maintain position, move, steer, and stop. First, let me explain the different fins and their functions. Fins are the most distinctive anatomical feature of a fish, and their principal function is help is to help the fish swim, turn sharply, and stop. These are the different fins of the fish. This is the dorsal fin, which lends stability in swimming. These are the caudal fins, or the tail fins. These are the main propelling fins of the fish. The anal fins, which are also used to stabilize the fish while swimming. The pectoral fin, located on each side of the fish, which are primarily responsible for the control or direction of the fish. And the pelvic fins, which assist the fish in going up and down through water. Humans and fish may seem pretty different, but actually they have a lot in common. Their inside parts are pretty similar and are made up with the same type of cell. Each organ does a very special job for the body. Just like humans, fish also needs oxygen and food to live. Now, it's time to dissect our fish to learn its inside anatomy. First, cut the operculum to expose the gills of the fish. These bright red, moist hair-like structures, or flaments, are the gills. Fish breathe through this instead of lungs. Cut a lateral line up the side of the fish, then slit down on both ends of the lateral lines. Then, make a long shallow cut on the bottom side of the fish. This cut will run from the anus to the gills or vice versa. We must ensure that we do not cut too deeply into the body or else we will destroy the fish's organs. 
We can use scissors to help make cuts through the skin and muscles. After making the cuts, carefully lift the flaps to expose the internal organs. Now, let's identify the different internal organs of the fish. These long, thin, coiled tubes are the small and the big intestines. Fish, such as tilapia, are herbivorous. They have longer intestines because plant matter is usually tough, fibrous, and more difficult to break down into usable components compared to fish that are piscivorous, eating fish, which have fairly short intestines because such food is easy to chemically break down and digest. This hollow, gas-filled organ that sits in a fish's body cavity above its guts is the swim bladder. It allows a fish to conserve energy by maintaining neutral buoyancy in water. This small sac is the gallbladder of the fish. It contains or store bile secreted by the liver. This is the liver of the fish, a reddish brown color found near the gallbladder. Its texture is slightly different from the other organs. It assists in digestion by secreting enzymes that break down fats and it serves as storage area for fats and carbohydrates. Heart. This little thing behind and below the gills is the heart of the fish. It circulates blood throughout the body. That small white yellowish little egg-like thing inside the hole is the control center of the fish or the brain. This is where both automatic functions such as respiration and higher behaviors occur. All sensory information is processed here. The structural framework here is the spinal column. It is hard and consists of numerous vertebrae, which are hollow. It protects the delicate spinal cord. It connects to the skull and the front of the fish and to the tail at the rear. This is the kidney. It is located at the side of the backbone. They are smaller and stretched and do not resemble beans as such. It helps in the excretion and regulation of water balance within the fish. This less well delineated pouch that is a bit elastic is the stomach of the fish. It is connected to the esophagus of the fish. This is where food is further digested. I hope I have clearly identified the external anatomy and have demonstrated the proper dissection of the fish, as well as have shown you the major internal organs of the fish correctly. Again, this is Maya Juliana de Lozada. Good day and thank you. Disclaimer, I agree by Sardan is an educational vlog. The purpose of this vlog is to provide free education to discuss lessons and clarify issues related to agriculture. The channel owner wishes to thank the trust for the sources that have helped make this edu vlog possible. Any opinions or views shared in this vlog are also personal and belong to I agree by Sardan. The views of any person that is directly or indirectly connected to the owner do not inherently represent them. In addition, any dependency you put on the materials included herein is solely at your own risk. Finally, if you need more details or have questions, please feel free to contact the owner. Thank you, Maya Juliana Lizada and of course, De La Salle Araneta University.